no longer roam the Senelaga ranges, but the silence hasn't lasted. The British training area now hosts a new big beast, and it belongs to the German army. The Puma is an advanced infantry fighting vehicle with an array of defences and armaments. Guided missiles are intended to destroy tanks up to four miles away. It's one of the best IAVs in the world, and that's probably why the Australian Army and also the American Army wants the same system. It's quite like a railer coaster. Sergeant First Class Kevin Mandler says his Puma can reach 45 miles an hour. But the number one feature, he says, is a 30mm cannon that can be fired on the move. Right now, uh, if we are spotting a target within uh, three to five seconds, we are able to hit it with a fair shot. Pumas also carry troops. On the Senelaga ranges, the armoured vehicles are being used for basic infantry training. The British absence has given German soldiers of 21st Panzer Brigade more range time. You can simulate some parts of the training for the platoons and for the soldiers, but nothing is better than use the tanks um, on the training area, on the ground, in the forest. Oh, yeah. Coronavirus restrictions on British training have helped the Germans in other ways. The Bundeswehr is guaranteed at least 10 weeks a year at the Senelager Training Center. Now the Germans are snapping up training slots originally given to the British Army. Some members of 21st Panzer Brigade will be in Afghanistan next year. Senelager's small arms moving target range is ideal for German close protection soldiers. They're based nearby, but Senelager is the only suitable range for 100 kilometers. This is a big advantage for us because the smaller shooting ranges that are closer to all German barracks do not have these moving targets. More time on the ranges has helped meet the German army's own coronavirus limitations. Only so many soldiers can train together at one time. One week is the, are the guardian angels here and uh, the next week the force protection team and the, then the other guys to do the training for all these guys. But we cannot do it together. It's uh, the effect of the corona. Training in Senelaga for Germany's next Afghan mission is intensifying. There are more tests for the quick reaction force. Typical scenarios centre on the response to insurgent attacks. Sometimes it means going to Tin City, a place that few Germans have experienced. The urban facility is where decades ago British troops rehearsed for Northern Ireland. In a place that resembles parts of Belfast, German soldiers must imagine being in Kabul. The red phone boxes have been a source of amusement. I think it's funny, but uh, it's a collaboration between British and German. Um, it's, it's always on a an, an friendly and professional level. Maybe the framing of the houses is different to maybe area of operations in Afghanistan, for example. But um, the, the basics are the same and the basics we can train here. Range staff expect British soldiers to return to Senelaga in October. Major Jules Farrow says it's not only the Germans who filled the vacuum. And we've had Belgians, Dutch Army, Dutch Marines, the French, alongside civilian authorities, be it the police. Um, they still use that training area because at the end of the day, um, although COVID is ongoing, we can't stop training. The Bundeswehr have taken advantage of other underused British Army facilities. To prepare for Afghanistan, they've been offered barracks accommodation. While coronavirus risks remain, it means that soldiers each have their own rooms. Even the local naffy shop is now catering for German customers. They seem to like the English breakfast baths and the English biscuits. They are very polite, yeah. Very polite and very tidy. A lot of the products here are the same like we have here. And uh, they also have some German products like German beer, so I'm fine. What a difference a pandemic makes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.